What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. And what is this video again? If you can't see, or if you've been living under a rock, your boy is doing a video on Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, I do these journal reviews of the game, and I'm going to explain to you the results of those journal review and start off by telling you why I'm doing these reviews in this fashion for those that are not familiar with this content. Um, with that said, before we get started, can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these reviews. And if you're listening to this on Twitch, Hit that subscribe button. You know, I've been in the Or support the channel, man. We out here doing we out here doing the damn thing out here, okay? So with that said, let's get into the review. All right. So for those of you that are not aware, I do these journal reviews. All right. As I'm playing the game and as I'm going along and traversing through various titles, particularly this one right now, I like to give people an update of how I feel about the game and give my reviews in portions. Why I do that is because the problem with reviews nowadays is that when they come from big companies or they come from even content creators, they're trying to rush. They're trying to be the first people out there. And because of that, they're not playing these games as intended. And they're not giving you full reviews. They're sometimes bloviating or making up stuff to fit some type of quick narrative that they just come across. And not, they're not fully vetting the experience, which is going to provide you with the best information, all right? Now, I always say when it comes to reviews, don't just simply listen to anybody because they're famous or you like how they sound. Find somebody that agrees with your approach on games and then take their word, uh, you know, if, if, if you're coming down to the wire and if you're on the fence about a game and you gotta get some information on whether you should pick it up or not. That's your best way of doing it. With that said, at the very least, whether you agree with MM2K or any reviewer or not, you should get full facts, you should get full information, the game should be fully vetted, and that's why I'm, I'm doing it this way. So, for those of you that, again, not aware of how I do these, what I like to do is when I'm reviewing games, I break them up into four parts, okay? So let's go over what those four parts are, just real quick. As a reminder, I do visual implementation, which is one part that I look at. That includes graphics and physics. The second part is product placement. How has this game been advertised to the consumer and does it meet those expectations as far as what the game is, you know what I'm saying, or is about, or does it exceed it? Also, thirdly, I do game depth. Game depth is a little stacked. That's where we include level design, game length, replay factor, and broad appeal thoughts, okay? Um, and when I say broad appeal, just so we're not mistaken there, I don't mean broad appeal necessarily outside of those that favor whatever genre the title is in. It has to retain the people that favor that genre along with maybe reaching out a little bit more. If it does that exceptionally well, then we reward that as well. Um, and lastly, there's game mechanics, controls, how are the movements, you know what I'm saying? Stu stiff, too loose, just right, basic instructions, necessary tutorials and bugs, all right? Um, and as you can notice, while I'm playing the footage in the background, and as it relates to game mechanics, um, there's some PC optimization problems, but we'll get we'll definitely get into that. All right. So first and foremost, let's talk about product placement. Um, as far as product placement is concerned, uh, I'm sorry, not product placement, visual implementation. I gave it an eight and a half, and the visual implementation has been eight and a half across the board through all my my gameplay. Um, experience here and overall let me let, let me break it down to you overall I am around 29 and a half hours into the game um, particularly on PC I'm at, I'm at currently at level 13 gear score 65 all right so again visual implementation is eight and a half the right. environments look good and they, they're lifelike player reacts to sunlight and bullets flying by etc facial animations during cutscenes can be a little you know janky but overall during gameplay which was what matters to me um in my reviews everything is cool um so we again we gave that eight and a half for product placement now um i gave it an eight 
Um, it's been teetering between like a 7.7 .7 at the lowest and an eight. Um, and, and here it's still at an eight. Um, here's what I have. Here's what I feel about the product placement. Uh, much more tactical than advertised. This will be a plus to gamers wanting more of a challenge. Lack of teammate AI though was unexpected. Mission structure starting to show signs of diversity, um, like the Skrell headquarters mission. All right, and I don't want to spoil too much for anybody there. Uh, so you know, check. But definitely, if you're playing the game, definitely check out that mission. Mission is very fun. Um, now, as far as game depth. Um, here's the positives and the negatives that I have so far and I give it an 8 in game depth and that has also teetered between at its lowest point 7.9 at its highest around an eight and a half uh, but here but right now again it's an eight in my last playthrough um, the positives are enemy engagement is tense as damage is severe and swift to the player tactical approach which includes site prep is a must the negatives are missions are mundane without friends real satisfaction playing solo is traversing terrain taking out enemies along the way and building up your character so let me explain that a little bit um, uh, briefly uh, this game is pretty much two games in one all right there's the solo game experience and then there's the um, group game experience now, when you're playing solo, when you're doing missions, they can get mundane, as I had mentioned prior, um, because a lot of them are like circumference based or whatever, but you're going to get the most dynamic feel. You're going to get the, mo the biggest bang out of your buck with this game and the most satisfaction by your interactions in between missions, like traversing the terrain, building up your character, hiding out in the bushes, taking people out as they come by as, 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 um, um, convoys drive by taking them out still in weaponry and stuff like that that's where the bulk of the fun is when you're playing solo now when you're playing uh, uh, within a group the bulk of your fun is going to be the missions themselves because they become more dynamic you don't have to be as careful as you do playing solo you know you guys can be a little bit more riskier and it makes the missions more fun when you're doing it with other people so you can avoid traversing the terrain and just hop from mission to mission to mission, whether it's a side mission or a main mission it, or a faction mission, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Being that you're rolling with a group now, the gameplay for missions can be more dynamic and more fun. But you're gonna get that dynamic gameplay playing solo traversing through the terrain. So that's why I say it's kind of two different games or two different experiences uh, you know, depending upon how you're playing. But with that said, I still give it an eight um, as far as game depth is concerned. And game mechanics, this is the lowest I've given it um, in this playthrough. I gave it a 7.9. It might, you know, looking at this footage again, it might deserve a little bit lower. And, and the reason why I say that is because the PC optimization is bad. It's definitely bad. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm running the 2070. And granted, I, I've spoke about some issues that I might be having with the 2070. But even with the 2070, I'm getting a lot of frame drops. You know what I'm saying? While I'm streaming. No problems, though, while, while I'm not streaming. But it's just that the poor optimization of the game. I'm including the fact that streaming it isn't the, always the most smoothest experience. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, oh, look at this commercial playing. <laughs> with that being said, it's a shame because when you're playing without streaming, it's not that big of a deal. But streaming is serious now. So they gotta they gotta better optimize their games to where streaming isn't that, you know, as bad as it is. Also on console, you're not getting a consistent 30 frames per second. And that's not good, okay? Definitely not good. So you need to be getting a consistent 30 frames per second to get the best feel out of this game. It's like you're being robbed. So. I, th I might be a little kind here. I, I might stick with the 7.9 rating for game mechanics because everything else is smooth. There are no glitches or anything like that. But again, the game mechanics are bad um, in those regards. With that said, overall, still, when you average everything together, it's an 8.1, right? And my overall score right now with all the time that I've played is an 8.17. So my overall thoughts right now is that the game for what it is is starting to sell on me, settle on me, a ramble-like shooter, and that's fine and enjoyable. However, I am disappointed in the poor PC optimization and bad frame rates on console. And when I say bad frame rates, they're not Borderlands bad, but this game excels so much more than others when you're 
at least on console, a lock 30. You know what I mean? But Ubisoft's just got to better optimize their games. It's up to them. All right, with that being said, this is your boy MM2K with another review. I will be dropping these again periodically until I finish the game and get to the end game. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter at MM2K. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.